Okay, yeah, welcome back to the tutorial. Okay, uh, in this video, we'll continue by assigning a superscript to the different mean and standard deviations, okay, indicating if there is significant difference or not, okay. Uh, to do that, we'll simply go to our analyze results, okay. I'll minimize this page okay so i can be able to visualize the two tables okay this is what i have and then i'll minimize my ms word too okay so this is what i have okay a lot of people have been finding it difficult to assign superscript to their different you know mean and standard deviation table i also ran into such issue uh, before okay um, and hopefully today I'm going to be showing us how to easily do that okay without much stress okay this is the table we drafted with respect to this particular analysis we did here okay this is the analysis and this is the table to assign a superscript to the standard and mean deviation table to the mean and standard deviation table, we simply make use of our what are Duncan tables, which is from the homogeneous word subset, okay, under multiple comparison, okay. After multiple comparison, if you go up, you see your multiple comparison. After that, under that, you have your what homogeneous subset, under where you have your Duncan, okay. That is what we're going to use to assign our values, okay. To do that, let's start with the sulfate. From what we have here, looking at sulfate, sulfate was analyzed at four different groups, which is from group one to group four, which is the different distances here. The 100, 200, 300 and control, that is the same thing that, is have, that you have here, okay? So at group one, we have also by this side, this subset for alpha at 0 0.05 is telling you that this gradients here or these values here are uh, with respect to either if they are uh, uh, significant as 0 0.05 or not if they are significant okay meaning their value is less than or equal to 0 0.05 then you have them appear on each of these values okay let me explain again i have one to four here this one to four corresponds to group one to group four okay if group 1 is significant from group 2, then the mean of group 1 will be under this number 1 table. The mean of group 2 will be, will be under uh, group 2 table. The mean of group 3 will be under group 3 table and group 4. Okay? So I have group 1, 2, 3, 4. Just like I have group 1, 2, 3, 4 here. Okay? Because group 1 is significantly different from group 2, I have just group 1 under number one okay and this is also this one to four is same as a to d you can title this also as a b c d okay so what do i do this number one now i have just one okay and under two for group one i have just one so under two i have two so because only one is in this particular group one it means one is significant from every other group in this particular table so i'll put superscript a here i'll put a okay to make a superscript you just highlight on it and then click on this just go to your home and click on this x raised to power 2 once i click on it it becomes a superscript okay then under the second one which is group uh, group 2 which is 200 meter when i take it to this number 2 Okay, I learned that group 2 also is significant from every other group. As you can see, it's only the mean of group 2 that is under group 2. Meaning is only group 2 that is, that group 2 is what's significant from every other group. Okay, so that is what I have here. So here, under group 2, I just have only 2. So I'll just put it as what? As B. Okay, I'll put it as B and I'll put it in superscript form. Okay. Then under C, which is under group 3, okay, which is 300 meter, I will also go, I discovered that under group 3, 
the same three also only the mean of group three is under three which means there is no other mean that has the same value or similar value as it as a result is significantly different from every other group so as a result i'll just put my word c okay and make it a word in super script okay so this is what i have okay then the same thing goes toward the control which is the group four i learned that the group four alone also is on its own okay meaning is significantly different from every other group here okay so this is what i have and then i have what under group four i just have what d also so i have d okay i'll make it super script by highlighting on it and tapping on this okay okay this is what i have so the implication is that across or down this group okay these different surface analysis are different uh, meters from the site are significantly different. That's why I have different word alphabet. Different alphabetical order or different alphabet indicates significant difference, but same alphabet indicates what non significant word difference. Okay, so we'll go to phosphate immediately. When we go to phosphate, we notice the same trend, meaning there is significant difference across what phosphate group from group one to group four if you trace this down to to your multiple comparison table you discover that there is significance all through look at what i mean if i go back to okay let me open this up so that you see what i mean this is the multiple comparison if i go to sulfate on that sulfate there is all significant different can you see here all of them here has what significant different if i go to phosphate the same thing of course there is all significant what different so I'll go back to this. I'll go back to my table. Okay. I'm in phosphate. So I'll just have my what? My A. My B. Okay. I'll put A in superscript. Okay. I'll just click on this. Then I have my B. I have my B. And then I'll put it in superscript. I have my C. I'll put it in superscript. I have my D. Okay. Since they are all words significant different from what each other. So I have D. I'll put it here. Okay. Then when I come to total organic compound, let me scroll down to what? To total organic compound. Okay. This is what I have. Okay. In this total organic compounds now, the group four now. Okay. The group four will compare to to group one can you see that this is group four we compare to group one okay there is what <clears throat> there's what significant difference okay group four here we compare to group one what there's what significant difference so under this group four i'm going to have a okay implying that there is what there is significant difference so this is uh, group four under total distance. So I'll put a here. Okay, I'll put a and I'll put it in superscript. Okay, be mindful of the group you are comparing. So you don't go and put a super superscript in a different group. This is group four. That's why I put it in four. Okay, then the, the second one, which is this, is in what group three. Okay, group three when compared also to group two you discover that group three here is also significant okay group three is significant because it's only group three that is lying on this particular as which is the b this is a this is b this is c okay so on that b i only have group three there okay i only have group three so i will just put under group three i'll put b okay and then i'll do what i'll put it in superscript okay then when we go to the group two, which is the 200 meter, okay, when we go to group two, which is the 200 meter, you discover that group two is under three, okay? You can see group two is under three, okay? And group one also is under three. Can you see these two? These are the two mean. I have the group two, I have the, I'll close this, okay? So I have group two here, I have group one here. The two of them are under three. 
Okay, can you see that the two of them are under what three? As a result, the two of them what have the same alphabet. As a result, they are not significantly different. Okay, group two and group three are not what significantly different because the two of them have their mean under the same column here. So what I'm going to write here is what C. Okay, because they are under alphabet A, B, C. This A, B, C. Okay, so I'll title here C. I'll put it in superscript. And I'll also title here C. Okay. And then I'll put it in what? In superscript. Okay. Can you see? Because the two of them are lying in the same column. Okay. You have them what? In C, C. Okay. Telling you that they're what? They are, there is no significant difference because they have the same word, the same alphabet. Okay. So with this, we have a uh, label. That is how you feel for others. So going to going down the group now, you discover that different alphabet in the case was significant different. Going across the period also, different alphabet represent what significant different. For instance, now the the at hundred. This is a uh, at hundred. I have this sulfate and I have phosphate. It indicates that sulfate and phosphate are not really significantly different, but sulfate and uh, total organic are significant because i have a here and i have c here okay i have b here and i have c here there is significant difference but i have b and i have b there is no significant difference do you get that so we can analyze down the group and i want across the period in our next video i will show us cases where you can have a b a c b c and the rest as your superscript and what that implies so see you in the next video Thank you.